you already know LDBC. So we got some news coming out of the White House, and that is President Biden has done something I've never seen, where he issues a full and conditional pardon to his son, Hunter Biden. This comes just a few weeks before the, the Trump administration takes over. And the crazy thing is Joe Biden has said that he would not interfere with uh, what, what's, what's going on with his son. But I'll read a little bit of this article from, from New York Times. President Biden issued a full and conditional pardon to his son, Hunter Biden, on Sunday night after repeatedly insisting he would not do so, using the power of his office to waive aside years of legal troubles, including federal conviction for illegally buying a gun for tax invasion. In a statement issued by the White House, Mr. Biden said that he had decided to issue the executive grant of clemency for his son for those offenses against the United States, which he has committed or may have been committed or taken part of during a period from January 1st, 2014 to December 1st, 2024. He said that the decision that he made a decision because of the charges against Hunter were politically motivated and designed to hurt him politically. Quote, the charges in, in his cases about only after several of my political opponents instigated them to attack me and oppose my election. No reasonable person who looks at the facts of Hunter's cases can reach any other conclusion than Hunter was singled out only because he is my son. And that is wrong. It's game one now, honestly. And, you know, people talk about Donald Trump and what happened January 6th, a few years ago, and how maybe he might give all those people a pardon. Well, now I wonder what the media is going to say about what's going on with this, because could you imagine if Donald Trump did something like this? This man literally just used his executive powers to the full extent. And don't get me wrong. I remember when Gerald Ford gave Richard Nixon a pardon. And, and you know but it's it's different a president this literally this man's son this man said forget it but i guarantee you if somehow for whatever reason donald trump gave donald trump jr uh, a pardon it would be world war three in this country all in the media people crying but i really want to know how much people are going to make a big deal about this you know this is the hypocrisy that comes on and and not just the black community but just in with this media thing in general this man has had long-range missiles go out uh let Ukraine use our long range missiles. The big media doesn't say anything. And now something like this, we've never, I've never heard of nothing like this before. Have y'all where a president gave his son a pardon. And we, we understand that politics have always been corrupt to a degree, but I mean, to this, where you literally come out and say, you know what? I'm not going to interfere. You interfere anyway. And then you say, well, my political opponents is out against me. But if uh, somebody else were to do it, like a Donald Trump or George Bush, you would hear people on, on media talking about it, it, this might America might now become a dictatorship and he has too much power and all of this. But I just really wonder how much of an uproar people want to make about this. You know? And I'm not a Republican, honestly. You know, but uh, it just is funny how the same thing can happen from the same the same situation can happen and you can get two different versions of it from the big media and just from people in general, honestly. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. it's crazy, man. Well, tell me what y'all think.